welcome back and today's video is a challenge video and as you can see from the title somebody picks my makeup out and who is that somebody it is my two-year-old daughter Adeline she actually picked out my makeup and by that I mean she picked it up and handed it to me and said here you go so that is the video today and um, if you guys want to see how she did, what she picked, what look I'm going to create, then stay tuned. Um, but before we jump into the video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, you can find us on multiple so 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 social media platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, and yeah. So let's jump into the video. Ready? Okay, so how about you pick one primer for me? Can you pick just one? Go ahead. You want me? All right, I think you grab this one first. We're going to use the J1 Jelly Pack. Can you pick one foundation? Hey. <laughs> Hi. Can you pick one foundation for mommy? Well, can you show the camera? Which one is it? Is it? Which one is it? Is it? Okay, I guess we'll use this one. Thank okay. you. Here, pick a concealer. Go ahead, pick one. Sure. Oh yeah? Here, pick one. Give me one. Can I have one? So this is the Kylie concealer. Okay, we'll use that. Okay, you picked two, but can I have one? How about you give me one so I can use it? Which one do you want mommy to use? Hey, which one do you want mommy to use? Here, give me one. Thank you, you picked the Laura Mercier. Oopsie. Oopsie, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you pick one for mommy? A bronzer? Which one can I have? Here. Oh, it's the found. Okay, we'll use the found. I need you to pick out one blush for mommy, okay? <laughs> you. How about one blush? And hand it to mommy. Thank you. Oh, we're gonna use the damn boy. Okay, Adeline, can you pick a highlighter for mommy? Mommy. Yes, can you pick a highlighter? Yeah. Which one can mommy use? Which one is it? Oh, it's the Tarte Stunner. Okay, Adeline, can you pick a shadow palette for mommy? Which one? Oh, of course. All right, the Maybelline Lemonade Craze it is. Ooh. Okay, Adeline, just one. Just pick one for mommy. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, it's the Voluminous Superstar Fiber. Can you pick one for mommy? Okay, how about you just hand me one? That's two. Okay, so she handed me the Lorac and Fenty. All right guys, so I zoomed in just a little bit and I have all her makeup in this bag here. Okay, so she didn't do too bad. I mean, for a two year old who kind of was just picking up whatever she felt like at that very moment then, all right, she did pretty damn good. So I don't know really where this started from. All I know is that a while back I did see Nikki Tutorials do, I think it was a Google Picks My Makeup Challenge. And then I think from there it just kind of spew into, you know, dogs pick, pick my makeup or Instagram picks my makeup. And I decided kind of to jump on the bandwagon and just do it because I thought it was a fun little challenge. So, so my daughter picked the J1 Jelly Pack Primer. So this is, this is a thick ass primer, guys. Like you want your makeup to stay this is it it is thick and it is sticky okay <laughs> for foundation she picked the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation. Now, I do like this foundation. I actually like it a lot. I don't really use it on my channel that much. I don't know why. Um, 
it's not too full coverage. I mean, it's kind of medium, but I like it. All right, so I'm just going to dip my beauty blender in here and I'm just going to pounce dish on my face. So like I said, I do like this foundation. It's not very full coverage. As you can see, I mean, you can still see a lot of my freckles poking through, but it does cover the redness and the pimples. Um, but the, the one thing I don't like about it is that it does have a really strong scent to it. I don't know why. Okay, folks, so for concealer, the Little Princess picked the Kylie Jenner Concealer. Now, I have this in the color, I believe, Birch. It's not really my color. Um, it's a little peachy, as you can see, but when you blend it out, it blends into the skin beautifully. So, we shall put this on and then we shall get a tub blending. Alrighty, folks. So, I have to say, for a base, mm -hmm, my daughter did pretty dang good on choosing her makeup. And next is the setting powder. I was so happy when she handed me this because this is like the holy grail of foundation. And it is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. So I'm just going to set my under eyes and then set the rest of my face. We're going to dust off the powder under the under eyes and then kind of get the rest of the face with the extra. Now, now that we're done with the base, I'm kind of going to do is I'm going to go off screen and I'm going to finish up, not finish up, I didn't even start. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I am going to do my brows because, guys, I only really use two products. Um, I'm going in with the Anastasia Brow Wiz today because it's the first one I grabbed. And I will be right back. Alright, guys. So then, for bronzer, she picked the Found Baked Bronzer. Now, I did do a review on this, and I will link it above somewhere. And, um... You know, I did like this bronzer. I really need a bronzer brush to apply bronzer. Okay. All right, guys. I really don't know my arse from my elbow today. I gotta get my freaking life together. Okay. Anyway, so the found. I did like this. Um, there was nothing wrong with it. I liked the formula. It went on really smooth. It's just not as pigmented as I like to have my bronzer, but it does provide a really nice sun-kissed glow to the face as you can see it is so hot in florida i'm not kidding it is freaking hot i mean you can expect that it's the summer um but there's really nothing that you can do except swim so I'll probably just take my daughter swimming once she wakes up from her afternoon nap because, oh my god, it's like, I think I was reading that the temperature was 92, and you guys might be like, that's not so bad. With the humidity, it was, what, like 111? Okay. Mm -hmm. So next, next is blush, and she picked the down boy. This is by The Bomb Cosmetics. It's a little pink, but I like it. It's girly. Um, and I'm going to take my Morphe E34 blush brush. Whew, whew, it's a lot of powder. And just apply it to my cheeks. Ooh. Girl, this, the Balm products are pigmented. So then, next, she picked the Tarte highlight. And this is in Stunner. Now, I broke this one. All right. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I like it. I like it. I like it. 
might as well just put on a lot because I mean I'm just gonna go in the pool later anyway and it's all gonna come off do I look pretty okay so we're gonna move on to the eyes and of course my daughter had to pick the lemonade crate so as you can see I did try to include a lot of products that I wasn't really like into and products that I loved you know so she kind of had to pick and choose and she too was just taken aback and kind of tranced by all these beautiful beautiful bright colors but it's trickery I tell you it's trickery because once you dig in it's a powdery kneaded mess but we're gonna try to make it work today again all right so I also did a tutorial on this if you guys want to see it I'll link it above all right so I'm gonna go in with the color sherbet and I'm gonna put this all over my lid uh, just like so and this whole palette wasn't a total bust I mean some of the mattes in here were actually quite nice so I am gonna go into the sweet tea color here and I'm gonna use that as my transition shade oh my god again here we go powdery mess and I'm gonna put that right in the crease of my eye kind of smirk it out on the back here and all right i'm dipping into old-fashioned here and i'm just going to darken so much powder i'm going to darken the outer crease all right what color am i going to go in with I used the coral punch last time maybe I can kind of apply this to the lid um it has it's like a shimmer oh my god <laughs> okay we're gonna go in apply this all over the lid so as you know my sister is a nurse practitioner and I was asking her you know, now that you work in an urgent center, what are some of the dumbest, like, not dumb patients, but I guess dumb patients. Like, they come in and they have a problem and you're like, really? This can't be real. She said that this one elderly woman came in and said, I can hear my heartbeat in my ears. And my sister was like, yeah, that's completely normal, guys. But I mean, yeah, that's completely normal. A lot of people do and she goes yeah but what's abnormal is I think I heard it skip a beat God. I'm going to wet my brush and I'm gonna jump into the palette and I'm going to take this strawberry lemonade shade it's like falling apart oh my oh my god do you guys see that Maybelline I don't know what you did but this sucks and I'm going to pack this on top hmm. okay okay that color is not bad but what I want to show you is that I don't know if you can see it very well there is like a crater in that color it is so soft it just disintegrates I am going to try to put this might be the biggest mistake, but hey, whatever. The ice pop on the bottom, my lash line. All right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. I'm gonna blend it out with the lemonade craze color right here. That <laughs> vibrant, <laughs> vibrant, vibrant bright yellow try to make this a nice smoky lash line all right guys so this is the look with the eyes um, for highlighter I'm just gonna go back in with my Tarte in stunner because from what I can remember there was no good highlighter color so 
show. Next is mascara. Um, <laughs> okay, so she chose the Voluminous Superstar X Fiber. Again, I did a review on this, and I did like it. I liked it a lot. Um, it actually surprised me with how well it worked. The only thing is, I don't really wear fiber mascaras, and I mean, it was good. It's just not really like my everyday kind of mascara, so... Alright guys, so the last thing that sh my daughter picked was lips. Now, she handed me at the same time two products, so it was only right that I used the two products. So I was kind of happy with the products that she selected. She gave me the Lorac uh, Pirates of the Caribbean in Trident, and then also the Fenty Beauty lip gloss. Um, so, what I'm going to do is, since this does have a lipstick on one side, and the gloss on the other. I'm gonna just use the lipstick and then use the gloss and yada yada, you guys get it. I love this stuff. Okay, now I'm done. I will be right back. This is it, this is the final look. I think it turned out quite quite well, if I do say so myself. I think uh, my little princess picked out some pretty good products. Um, and if you guys enjoyed this kind of video, give it a thumbs up and I will be sure to add more challenges to my list of videos to film. Um, I did think about doing my hair, but in the end I was like, you know what, I'm gonna end up in the pool anyway, so no. Um, so yeah, don't forget to subscribe to the channel click that little notification bell to be notified when new videos are up. Um, I do try to upload at least once a week. Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!